In example two, we're going to look at another exponential function. Here we have the populations of rabbits is increasing exponentially. Well, that tells me I'm going to use one of my exponential formulas. So as we start with 100 rabbits, and the population increases by 15% every month. How long will it take for the rabbit population to reach 750 rabbits? Okay, not a bank problem, so I can eliminate equation 2. Also, not a continuous rate problem, so I can eliminate equation number 3. That leaves me with the first equation, our common basic exponential growth and decay equation. Here, I know my initial population is 100 rabbits that the rabbits are increasing by 15% every month, so t is in months, and that I will end up with 750 rabbits. Thus, I'm looking for t. I plug these values in, 750 equals 100 times 1 plus 0 0.15, to the t. 750 equals 100 times 1.15 to the t. Divide both sides by 100. Get 1.15 to the t equals 7.5. Now to solve for t, I want to bring that exponent down. So what I want to do is I want to take the log of both sides. Take the log of 1.15 to t, and honestly, you can use the natural log too if you want to, equals the log of 7.5. Thus, I end up with t times the log of 1.15 equals the log of 7.5. T equals the log of 7.5 over the log of 1.15. Use your calculators and we should find that the log of 7.5 divided by the log of 1.15 is approximately equal to 14.42. Now I want to go back I will see that t is in months. This is 14.42 months, or about two years, sorry, one year, two months. One year and 2.42 months. That's our final answer.